Hi, welcome to the North Carroll branch of the Carroll County Public Library. I'd love to give you a tour. When you come into the library, the first thing you'll see is the service desk. And here you can get a library card, you can check out your books, or just ask a question. Let's head over to the children's department. But on our way, I want to show you that right here, if you put a book on hold, this is where we'll keep it for you when you're ready to pick it up. If you're looking for the newest books, these are our newest Easy Picture books. The first shelf that you'll come to in the children's department is this one. And right at the front are the concept books. And concept books are books about things like numbers, colors, alphabet, and shapes. The other thing on this shelf, if you go down a little bit farther, you're going to find some different series books. Maybe some Lego books or Fancy Nancy. Um, Curious George, Pete the Cat, and lots of other series. So the next shelf you're going to come to is right here. And this is a great shelf to come to if you're in kindergarten and you're learning to read. And it says, I can read. So when you're learning to read, you might want to look like Biscuit Loves the Park. It's a good story, but there's not too many words in it. So it's easy for you to read when you're a beginner. There's also popular books here like Cat and Hat, or the Elephant and Piggy books. I love to read at the library. After the I Can Read books, all these shelves here are called Easy Picture Books. And these are books like Groovy Joe, and the, these books have lots of great illustrations, and they're fun to read with a grown-up. So some of them have lots of words, and some of them don't have as many. Where's Waldo? Is in this section also as well as The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The library is fun. But if you want a book that's a true book that you can learn facts from, you're gonna to wanna to come over here. And this is called nonfiction. And that means that these books are factual books. Things like books about people. So this is a biography of Abraham Lincoln and you could learn about Abraham Lincoln from this book. What else could you learn about in the nonfiction area? Maybe you want to learn about sports. Here's a book about soccer, all different sports in this area. How about Maryland? Do you want to learn some more about the state that you live in? You could get a book about Maryland or all different places, all different countries around the world. We have books about them here. How about dinosaurs? You can find books about dinosaurs. This is called our catalog computer. And here you could type in something like maybe cookbook or dogs or different things, and it will tell you what kind of books we have about that in our collection. I like books about dogs. Another thing that's over here in the nonfiction section are magazines just for kids. So the newest issue of the, the magazine is on the front, but if you want to look at some other issues from before, lift up the shelf and you'll see a pile of magazines underneath. And you can check these out and take them home and read too. Here's a great spot to find graphic novels. Here's a good one, it's called Sparks. These books are called Wonder Books. And what's wonderful about these books is that right here, you can push the button and someone will read the book to you. It's like a recording of the book, so you can follow along with the pages while it's being read to you. Another really neat thing we have here are launch pads. And they look like this, and inside, is a tablet that's preloaded with lots of fun learning games. I like to check out movies. Once you've picked out all your books, tablets, and movies, you can come over here and check them out at the self-checkout station and get a receipt to tell you when they're due. Or you can bring your things over here to the service desk and give them to the library staff with your library card. And also make sure and get your library card be free and check out all the items. We never charge for any of those. And if you ever have any question at the library, come to the service desk and anybody here can help you. Now we're going to go see a part of the library that not many people get to see. Let's get back into the workroom and see the book drop. If the library is closed, you can still return all your materials from outside through our book drop. And this is our special book drop room. Do you wonder where your books go when you put them through that slot? Let's look and see. Here come some books. 
Thanks for visiting us at the North Carroll branch of the Carroll County Public Library.